Well, guess what happened next? Yes, only this time the mathematics professor involved slowed the falling ball process down by rolling his balls down a slope, marked with numbers at equal intervals to see how long it all took. He used a pendulum swing to get split-second timing on when he released each ball. He spent months rolling different weight balls down different angle slopes hundreds of times so as to get accurate average figures. And each time watching how long it took the ball to go different lengths of the slope. A third, quarter, fifth, eighth, half and so on. He measured the time with water. As the ball rolled whatever distance it was supposed to, he'd run water at a steady rate into a measuring jar because he could see immediately from each amount whether the ball was taking different times to do different bits of the journey. In other words, if it was accelerating as it went down the slope. What Galileo was looking for was some kind of law that all falling objects obeyed. In 1604, he found it. Everything accelerated as it fell at exactly the same rate. By Galileo's law, we all learnt at school. 32 feet per second per second. It was the first time nature had been described by mathematics that could be used in any circumstance to describe what nature was doing. The beginning of what we know today as the scientific revolution. Now, all that may look very mathematical and esoteric to you, but in 1605, doing that kind of thing with balls was dangerous because what Galileo had discovered was the thing that Aristotle said couldn't exist. A universal law of acceleration that every single falling object on Earth would obey. And never mind all that nonsense about each object its own unique characteristic. Now, contradicting Aristotle like that could have made life very hairy for Galileo. Had events not taken a turn for the safer, with a new business proposition. In July 1609, a friend of his showed him the new wonder machine from Holland, a telescope. And one month later, Galileo was here in St. Mark's Square at Venice,